you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. All right, here we go with round one. And Jalen Turner looks even taller and longer, if you can believe it, than he did in his last fight. He's a well-rounded five-tool player, credentialed in the BJJ world, an outstanding striker, as Bobby Green can attest. But for the opposition, it's just about how you get inside against Jalen Turner. Can you even shoot at his legs without paying the ultimate price? We'll see how the opponent chooses to proceed against one of the longer, more accomplished lightweights on the roster in Jalen the Tarantula Turk. Trying to establish the jab early on here. This is his game. He likes to control the opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Fast pace here in the early going. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. Hands higher, hands higher. Big double leg, double change. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Good work from the top here by Lee. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He's got to start throwing now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lee's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Turner's back into full guard, making all these shots count. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Lee. Lands a solid kick right there. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Looked like that body kick got home. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice jab by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Turner. Just gotta be careful here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Jalen Turner. I mean, this guy is throwing combinations with his kicks. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. 
Under a minute to go. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Turner. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Way to test the chin there. Later, the huge combination to the head. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath. Breathe into that nose, out through that mouth. All right, here's some water. Listen, your kicks are working hard. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Oh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad Ready on fight. him for not really Ready. making the adjustment Ready. to stop it. All right, round two. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Roundhouse kick there. Oh, nice. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. The tarantula's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Overhand left. Nice kick to the midsection. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Massive head kick. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Turner's back in full mount. He's working on the arm bar. Arm very tight. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. 
Lee grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. And the kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. One minute. Back and forth we go. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, feet on the hips here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Lee. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Turner gets up. He is back on the feet here. Final seconds. Turner's nose is ah, bleeding ah. now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very strong. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice block. Pretty good head kick there. Nice jab by Turner. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Touched him with the strike there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look man to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Turner's back in half goal. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Turner's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Rips the body there. A oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Turner gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Takedown defense holds up. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Nicely done with the kick there. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Throws that teeth. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he, he's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy, I am. <laughs> Fast, hard head kick there. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. That was okay. I need you to start looking for the takedown, okay? Let's get out there, and I want you to put this guy on his back. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Head kick is blocked. Solid punch from the clinch here. Another punch to the head. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage pace. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jalen Turner. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Change of the position. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, 
right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Looking to land the leg kick now. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Let's go. That's good defense to block that punch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Turner gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Nice crack there. Under two minutes here to go round four. And that one certainly found the target. There's that kick. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jalen Turner. Now the opponent seemed to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, huh. but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Totally somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. You give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. 15 seconds. Good stick. Nice diversity of the attack. Huge elbow land from the clinch. Right. 20 minutes in the can, five to five. go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, next round is now underway. I thought, oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, well timed with that team. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Oh, nice high kick. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Keep the 
Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. All right, doing work with the jab. Leg kick lands. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Jalen Turner. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Just missed with the elbow there. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one, and it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Tough is a cool display. But he got beat by a better fighter. Beautiful transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Turner going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Less than a minute now to go in the round. Oh, a nice little right hook there. Oh, and he found the target again. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. He's got him in the clinch once again. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Turner. Well, no surprise, the fighter with a longer reach is able to land that patented jab yet again. Turner's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Single collar tie now. Action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed but I think he did just enough to maintain his title.
All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the 